If we are asked to round 2 comma 3 to the nearest whole number, what we are actually asking is which whole number is closest to 2 comma 3. To do this, we first need to be sure we know what the whole numbers are. Okay, so the whole numbers are as follows. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we need to think about where, which of those whole numbers 2 comma 3 is closest to. It's fairly easy for us to decide that. 2 comma 3 will obviously lie somewhere between 2 and 3. We don't need to know exactly where, we just need to know whether it's closer to 2 or closer to 3. The halfway point between 2 and 3 is always going to be 2 comma 5. So obviously our 2 comma 3 sits on this side of the halfway point and so 2 comma 3 rounded to the nearest whole number will be equal to 2 because 2 is the whole number that's closest to 2 comma 3. And it's as easy as that. If we're asked, for example, to round 4 comma 7 to the nearest whole number, again, all we're looking for is roughly where is 4 comma 7. Obviously, it lies somewhere between 4 and 5. Because the 7 is bigger than 5, we know that it's going to be roughly on this side, so closer to the number 5. So rounding 4 comma 7 to the nearest whole number will give us 5 as the answer. What if we're asked a slightly different question like, we need to round 2 comma 8, 4 to the nearest tenth. Then we're asking ourselves which tenth is 2 comma 8, 4 closest to. So we now want to count up in tenths. We don't want to change the units at all. We just want to count up in tenths. So we're going to have 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 5, 6, 7, 8, etc. Remember, our question was to round 2, 8, 4 to the nearest tenth. So again, our question is, out of all these tenths here, which one of those is closest to 2, 8, 4? Well, hopefully, it's fairly obvious that 2 comma 8 4 sits somewhere between 2 comma 8 and 2 comma 9. Because that 4 is smaller than a 5 and 5 is always the halfway point, we know that the 2 comma 8 4 sits a little bit closer to this side. In other words, the tenth that's closest to 2 comma 8 4 is 2 comma 8. And we can do many other examples like that. Let's look, for example, at rounding 2, 3, 1 to the nearest tenth. Well, where will 2, 3, 1 sit? Somewhere in this region. 2, 3, 1 is obviously very close on this side. So the tenth that's closest to 2, 3, 1 will just be 2, 3. We can round to almost any other number that we want to. For example, let's take 2, 642 and round it to the nearest hundredth. So what are we looking for in this case? We're looking for the hundredth that is closest to 2 comma 642. So we're going to keep the units the same. We're going to keep the tenths the same and we're going to look at the hundredths. So here we go. 
going up in hundreds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc. Our interest was in the number 2,642 and we wanted to round it to the nearest hundredth. So first of all we've got to figure where it is. Obviously it sits somewhere here in this region. But because this is a 2, which is smaller than 5, it sits just a little bit to this side. And therefore, the closest hundredth is 2, 64. What if we looked at something like 2, 6, 7, 5, and we had to round that to the nearest hundredth? Well, again, we're looking at hundredths, so we're on the right number line. But let's have a look. 2,675 we know is going to lie in this region. And we know that because it's a 5, it is in fact right in the middle. So this one's slightly funnier because the question is, which of those hundredths is closest? And the answer is, well, 2,675 and 2,68 two, are both closest to 2,675. Because we won't, don't want everybody to be giving different answers, we've just, we just, in mathematics, agree to have a rule that says we will always round up in this case. And so we will just choose to give our answer as 2,68. Right. Let's do a few more examples. We can have a number with loads of decimal places, like 2,62789, and we can then be asked to round that to the nearest unit, nearest thousandth, nearest hundredth, or whatever. So let's start off by rounding that to the nearest whole number. So, if we want to be rounding to the nearest whole number, we're interested in a picture of whole numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're looking at the number 2,62789. And we're looking, we want to know which of those whole numbers is this number closest to. So we really need to know roughly where does it lie. Well, because it's 2,62, we know that it's lying somewhere in this region. We know, as we always have, that the center point here is 2,5. We know that it's 2,6 and a whole lot of little extra bits, but the 2,6 bit is the most crucial. And so we know that what we have is it lying just a little bit over this side, which means that 3 is our nearest whole number. They could also ask us to take exactly that number, 2,62789, and round it to the nearest hundredth, for example. Now, if we want to round to the nearest hundredth, then we need to have a picture where we're counting in hundredths. So we're going to keep the 2 the same, we're going to keep the 6 the same, but we're going to have hundredths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here is our picture. Our question is, where on this picture does 2,62789 sit? So that we can figure out which of these hundredths it's closest to. Well, it should be fairly obvious that because you've got 2,627 and some little extra, but that's just little bits extra, 2,627 is the crucial thing, that it's lying somewhere between 2,62 and 2,63. The halfway point is 2,625, as always. And so where does 2,627 fit in? That tells us that it'll be just a little bit more than 2,625, which tells us that if we're going to round to the nearest hundredth, the answer will be 2,63.
So we can see here that just looking at the number, we can see that because the 7 is bigger than the 5, this nearest hundredth is actually going to be the one above it, 2,63. So rounding 2,62789 to the nearest hundredth gives us the answer 2,63.